Previously on American MC. One man's dream is on the road to fulfillment. His friends call him Baker. He's been riding all of his life. For the past five years, he's been flying these colors, the ice cream men from hell. Over the years, he's given the patch to friends in Arizona, California, and Nevada. And now, for the first time, they all ride together. Absolutely. I would like to see this group of guys become an MC. A real MC. And now they find themselves smack dab in the middle of a biker bar that just happens to be a favorite of the Hells Angels. I oh, don't know. No, that Victor would get sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. Don't be so tight. You'll be all right. In this situation, most sane people would step back, lay low, be cool. But not Baker. He has an idea. Maybe at some point we should have Moody say hello, because you're our boss, Deck. My name, my name is Moody. Really? Moody plus the Hells Angels? Watch what happens on this edition of American MC we see this poster, it's like a flyer for a motorcycle run, sponsored by the Hells Angels. You guys want to check this out? Absolutely. And wouldn't you know it, in walk the Hells Angels. You don't know how these guys are going to act towards you, and I, to tell you the truth, I, I, I left it up to the other guys to go break the ice, man. I didn't want to be the guy to suffer the wrath of saying the wrong thing. Because if something happens, uh, it would not be good. Oh, yeah. Bunch of Hell's Angels just walked in, right? We we'll sent you over there. And <laughs> tell them we'd like to buy him a drink. The reason that Baker nominated Moody is Moody can talk to anybody. He's a pretty fearless guy. My name, my name is Moody. Moody, I'm Moody. Here. How you doing? We're gonna be joining you on this thing. Hey, all right. We're gonna come down for it. All right, you guys ready to make this journey, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And then basically what we're gonna do is take approach to giving you guys a journey. You should probably go through Wide River. Wide River Wide is River? the Apache Reservation. Then you're only miles away going through the Saw River Canyon. Very cool. At that point in time, you're on your way to Florence Penitentiary. And you'll get the opportunity to know, can you stay up and keep up? We're gonna find out. Uh -huh. That's what it'll all be about. <laughs> and he was brave. He opened the door for us to, to come have a real conversation with him. Tell me what happened. Well, I just told him we were going to come do this ride with them and introduce myself. And he was telling us about the state and, cool. you know, different like rides. Really cool guy, yeah, yeah. And he says, if you can keep up, hopefully you'll stay up. Yeah, I did. You know what we're talking about, boys? You got to ride tight with these guys. You got to ride hard with these guys that are going to laugh in your fucking face. If you ride like you've been riding, down the road. Absolutely down the fucking road. Awesome meeting you. Thanks for the howdy. I know. We'll catch up with you fellas in the morning, Les. That's cool. We're running you guys on the trail. Oh, that's all about keeping up. You can stay up. See you there. Baker and his crew have a chance to ride with the most notorious motorcycle club in the world, the Hells Angels. They ride fucking fast, but this road that we're going down is fucking gnarly. Getting an invitation to ride with the Angels, they're told where to meet. But don't get so close to any of them that you will ever have a chance of rear-ending them, because chances are that'll be the last time you ever rear-end anybody. <laughs> Too many bikers, whether they're in a bike club or not, ever envision themselves riding with the Hells Angels. But you know, I've handpicked these guys over years, and they're real men. They're all men. So I'm figuring anyone will hold their weight. These guys are the guys that ride. These are the guys that make it look easy. And it's a feeling like no other, because it changes the game. You don't know everything about them. You hear things, but you don't because you, it's not your business. They're, you're not one of them, but you respect them. I don't have any 
back right. breaking right. anymore. So, so I'm, uh, Let's see here I'm going to need a 7 16th inch tubing wrench and a 9 16 box and open in. It's <laughs> tools. Just, uh, come on up here. Bud, need some tools. Look at here, man. <clears throat> you have? I, need a, I need a tubing wrench. Tubing? And, uh, the closest we got is the vice grips. Not going to happen. Which I what? Oh, I guess we'd have to wait. I turn one way, you know, one way I got break, one way I don't. And then you break because it's the problem. Huh? That's 50 <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's better than nothing. When it comes to these guys, I just soon hang back here. I just want to be invisible, you know. So I, I'm really bound to go up there. It's a, he's a biker, and I am the mechanic in this group. Sorry, we couldn't do something. Yeah, yeah, man, for what it's worth, you'll be able to have something if you choose to. You can put it on your bike. All right. Thank you. All right, man. Well, I got a plan. He hands Bud a sticker that you can only get from a Hells Angel, and it says Hells Angel supporter. And you can't buy them, and you, you're not gifted at rallies. Only a Hells Angel can give you one of those. <laughs> well, I mean, president of a Hells Angel chapter gives you a sticker. I mean, uh, it's sort of a one-off as far as any of us are concerned. I try to watch the guy in front of the guy in front of me also, because that kind of saves up when you're seeing him break. That way you got a little bit of lead time with the next guy. One of the big cat rescued another brother. Yeah, it's when he was attacked yeah. right up the front starts swelling out. Yeah. That means you're stopping and suck in and you're going. Big Tom, do you have anything that you can roll for them that has some bike genre to it? Well I can think of one. Right on the middle. Uh, it's on the road and out of town. That's where my freedom can be found. Upon my bike and on the gas. For days and nights, the cars I pass. To think about my views instead, without the news or papers read. And dream about those better times when free and me are more than rhyme. Amen. Hey, you're right. Sort of like putting pep in your step, talking your walk, right in your stride, baby. Hey, <laughs> It's on two wheels and both are turning. The back one squeals as rubber's burning. Upon this beast, I have no fear. Drive trains increase to second gear. That spinning tire that was behind is now alongside this ass of mine. And if I soon don't throttle down, we'll both be doomed to hit the ground. The gas lets off, this stunts at end. My bike snaps back in line again. And Gary Bang says, that's just fine. But Jesus, Tom, not every time. That's my brother. Just thinking while I'm riding. You guys ready? It's kind of a camaraderie. And it really was a special feeling when they did show an acceptance and just like man to man, not club to non-club, you know, it's a complimentary thing and, and I really enjoyed that moment. Hey, these guys, you know, they're one percenters. And you know, and here we are, a bunch of guys out riding. <laughs> so yeah, you know, you're gonna have their edge, you're like, whoa, you know, is this guy, this guy, is he okay, is he okay? They all seem like really nice guys. You just don't want to cross them or have any problems with them. And it was just an incredible feeling. It was like it was like a snake slithering down through the canyons, and uh, just listening to the rumble and the roar, and being so close to your your buddy next to you. Adrenaline is coursing at that point. You really need to pay attention to what you're doing as you're riding. You've got a bike in front of you and a bike next to you, and you're within feet of each other. And sometimes not even feet, sometimes just inches. One wrong move, and you're done. This is so awesome. 
We're like in a training exercise with the Hells Angels, the ultimate test, and our guys are riding great. Awesome, I'm loving it. Next time on American NC. Are bogus. The ice cream men from hell are no more. The group decides to retire their colors and start from scratch. A new palette, new vests. You ever heard of a member saying, I gotta get my cut? Does anyone have a knife? I do. <laughs> Mom does. Because we're gonna have to cut the sleeves off these. Back on the road, the new cut inspires a new beginning. Riding into Scottsdale, the crew is introduced to retired NFL linebacker Brian Bosworth, the ultimate team player. The club is a family, so you guys got to learn how to live together, both good and bad. Knock him back a cold one at the Dirty Dog Saloon, Bosworth accepts an invitation to ride with the pack, while some of the guys offer more personalized invitations. The guys invited me up to the Grand Canyon. The ride continues to Arizona Bike Week and a live concert by Bad Company. Bad to the bone. Then the guys hook up with actor Gary Busey and invite him to join the ride as well. I'm throwing my final backs away. The phone's going in the garbage. I'm with you. But all isn't fun and games. Will they all survive the journey? Find out next time on American MC.